door tapping in my bedroom, my little yoga area there, and outside we are being held and supported by cedar. So welcoming, inviting, and grateful that cedar is to be a part of our support and our healing in our session today. Okay. This is an issue that one of my horses showed me. She developed a swelling in her left chest and then another swelling at her umbilical cord. And when we work with our animals as fully sentient beings, they often use their body to message us about important mind, body, spirit things that have a direct message for us. So of course I gave her physical treatment and remedies, but at the same time, um, I knew for almost all my horses, they're extremely healthy. Uh, we've worked through their foundational trauma, so there's no need for their body to become unbalanced. And if they do, I mean, for, for some of my older ones, it's almost always about someone in our family that they're messaging <laughs> because we've done that layer after layer of clearing their trauma. Uh, just like we're doing here with laser tapping, we're clearing the layers of our trauma. And horses are one of those animals, um, maybe all animals can see very clearly your energy body and they can see what's in your field and they can see when something is not right or there's a, a place of darkness or something is asking to be healed and released. So I'm doing this session for all of us because this is a universal theme. So what came out of when I connected to my horse's body and then my own body and what was wanting to happen and what was wanting to come forward into the conscious mind, what came up was the whole aspect of the mother wounding where our hearts are so connected to our mothers, even if we've were given away at birth. We spent almost a year inside the body of our mother. Our flesh is literally her flesh. Our bones are her bones. There's a level of resonance and entwining and connection with the mother that doesn't exist with any other being. So the heart is super, super involved in that. And then what Odie was bringing to my consciousness was the umbilical cord at the belly button, which is also, you know, the Dantian, the Hara. This is, you know, many traditions. This belly button area is the seat of the soul. It's the place where your chi, your life force energy resides and concentrates and expands out from. It's the source of your strength and your connection to all that is. So when we look at the link between our heart and our belly button, our umbilical cord, in the context of the mother, because who provided all the nourishment so that we could have life force energy, so that we could incarnate on this planet, so that we could walk the path of our karma upon this planet, mom. <laughs> And this heart is, is what we were birthed to. The beat of the heart is the sound of our origin. It's the sound of our formation from single cell into full being. So these two centers are not just energetically like this. They're physically like this too. Let's go into the woundings that just might be present in these two centers and also in the way they link and intertwine with each other and loop to each other. Okay. Mm -hmm.